we are living through a time of global upheaval. The intricate links between billions of species are disappearing at an unprecedented rate. The foundations of our economies, livelihoods, food security and health are at risk. More and more, we are seeing the global effects of land loss, climate change, pollution and invasive species. Extinction rates are accelerating and ecosystems are changing faster than ever. That is why we must address how change is affecting biodiversity and ecosystems and understand the hidden network of connections that make nature so much more than the sum of its individual species. Back in the 18th century, Charles Darwin embarked on a journey to describe every single living species. Today, our ecologists take the same approach as Darwin when trying to find, describe and understand life on Earth. However, even with modern technologies, finding species in complex ecosystems like a rainforest takes time. And it can be like finding a needle in a haystack. Animals know how to go undetected. And ecosystems contain species such as fungi and bacteria that are far too small to be seen with the naked eye. But it's not only biodiversity hotspots that are a challenge. Also, a supposedly barren grassland can be full of life. Visually identifying and monitoring all species is not only expensive, laborious, and time-consuming, it also results in a poor representation of biodiversity. Scientists have recently found a new way to assess and monitor biodiversity, which overcomes the many setbacks of conventional ecological monitoring. As all species on Earth evolved from primitive single-cell organisms, their DNA changed, but parts of their genes were passed on and are now shared across species and domains. Close to these extremely conserved genetic regions, there are also unique DNA sequences that enable us to differentiate between organisms. When animals move across the land or water, their DNA is shed and left behind in the environment via hair, skin cells, or body secretions. This environmental DNA, or eDNA, can be acquired almost everywhere, but the most common samples come from soil, water, and air. By deploying a molecular technique called metabarcoding and coupling it with next-generation sequencing, we can use a single environmental sample to screen for multiple organisms at the same time. After identifying the DNA barcodes, we can then determine the species' presence and estimate relative abundance for a given area. At SGS, we are applying eDNA to develop innovative solutions to help you promote sustainability and accelerate your businesses towards the ambitious goals for low carbon initiatives and biodiversity net zero losses for 2050. This molecular tool is ideal for monitoring and keeping track of biodiversity changes in sensitive habitats, requiring minimal disturbance and no animal capture or manipulation. Sampling, although a specialist's task, can be performed quickly and more frequently, increasing the accuracy and resolution of your results. To study and monitor biodiversity or specific species, contact SGS now and learn more about our eDNA services.